Hi, um, so, so today I'm gonna show you how to use Snagit. And I know my voice sounds like this because I'm making so many videos in one day. It's hurting my voice. Anyways, so what was I saying? Snagit, yeah. This is Snagit 8. They, they have Snagit 9 out. On the left hand side it says quick launch and related tasks. There's Snag Editor, the catalog. You can convert the images, turn on one click, um, have the printer and so, and so on. Up here you can add new profile, new profile wizard, save a profile, last view, thumbnail view, or organize the profiles. Here is the region. It's just to take a picture of what's on your computer. You can edit stuff like the screen and all that. Scrolling. You can make a certain shape. A freehand or ellipse, a polygon, a triangle. Advanced stuff is scanners and cameras. Wallpaper, windows. Clipboards, graphic files. You can include the cursor or not include the cursor. You can keep the links or not keep the links. and can look at the properties such as background color and other things like that. Under window it, um, it's the whole screen. You can set it. It's basically the same thing as the region except it's already the whole screen. Full screen, the window is actually just like okay if I minimize this window it's gonna take this window right here but the full screen is going to take the whole entire screen. Anyway, scrolling web page, you can go on a web page and it'll just take a snapshot of that one web page that you're on at the time. You can also do the same thing but keep the links and then there's a scrolling window to PDF. You can make it into a PDF file I assume. And then a menu with time delay. I haven't tried that yet. And an object is just like if there's a picture and you want the picture but you can't get the picture, you just click on the picture you know if it's copyrighted or something images from a web page you just I think you just type it in or something yeah you just type it in and you'll get that picture again if it's copyrighted it'll work still then there's text from the window and then there's record screen video which has a lot of options like a cru cursor record audio or not um, and then there's effects like captions where I can ins enable a caption and insert it yeah so that was a little demo of snag it I like it but I don't use it that often because in cam studio there's more there's not as many limits as to what you can do but I um, would say snag it is better for editing your pictures because you can add arrows I'll just show you um I'll take region but I need okay here's my snapshot there it is I could save it but there's a whole bunch of things I can do first of all I can magnify it really really good yeah um anyways how do I okay so now it's huge my picture's bigger than I wanted it to be um so I'm gonna say edit yeah it's not gonna let me undo that I'm gonna just do it again to do this little part right here. Okay, there it is. I can do stuff like that. I can, yeah. And there's a teardrop thing where it picks up the color. Yeah. And you can edit it. You can change the color style, custom. And you can take the shadow away here, the arrows. Yeah, the default color is red, as you can see. You can add shapes to it. You can highlight. It's better for highlighting text, but oh well. You can add text. Blah whatever that says and that's really neat
spraying stuff. And what is that? I think it's the eraser. Yeah, you can do edge effects, drop shadow edge. Um, you can do spotlight and magnify, perspective and shear, watermark, border, caption. You can resize the image, resize canvas, trim, rotate and flip, or the color depth, color editing, image processing, and links and hotspots. Yeah. Um, color editing. You can make a transparent color. Uh, okay, now my throat is hurting me like crazy, but oh well. Um, you can make it grayscale. Ooh, it's black and white. It's all old. You can invert the colors. Okay, that looks like some sort of C, except for this stuff. Look, it looks like a C right there. You know what I'm saying? No? Anyways, kind of looks like a C. That's weird. Color substitution. Image processing. You can make a blur. Uh huh. You can do very neat things with Snagit when you want to edit a picture. If you want to edit a picture, that's one of the best picture editing softwares I've used. Not that I've used many, but anyways.